<sighs> Good morning guys <laughs> Good morning guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new David Got Vlogs video. Wow, I am two for two right now. Right now I'm working on dropping the videos once a week and as I get back in the rhythm, most likely it will be twice a week, three times a week, seven days a week. All right, relax. Today I am going to be install, today I'm gonna be installing the interior lights on my RAV4 and I will be adding a new front plate and adding the grill badge on the front. Nothing too crazy, but this for sure will hopefully make a change to the RAV4 and the way it looks on the interior and the exterior because right now it just has the stock yellow lighting on the inside. But yeah, I'm super excited to get this day started. So let's get right into it. So I just popped off the middle light. I have no idea what this is. We'll clean this later on. But when you're prying this, make sure it's between the light and not here. At first I was trying to take this whole thing off because I wasn't sure. Then I saw a video and it was literally right between the light. Okay, that's before. It's also during the day, so it might not be the best example, but I'm sure you'll see a difference. All right, so this is the bulb that was before. This LED one is the one that's after. I just put it in. Wow, okay. For sure, you can tell a difference. The other one was yellow. This one is white. And you're going to see an even bigger difference when it's nighttime and you need to turn this on. Cool, I'm happy. Oh yeah, it's lit. All right, so we just popped off this one. We're gonna test it. Yup, look at that. This is before, oh man. So this is before, this is after. Let me go ahead and tuck this back in. Wow, so easy, man. Something so small makes a huge difference. All right, so these map lights are so difficult to do. I've had to watch a couple tutorials on YouTube on how they do it because some of them are removing this whole thing because it's a different trim, but I guess different trim, different things. This one is a 2019 LE, so I just removed it from here. And another trick or tip that you guys can use for yourself Sometimes these bulbs are hard to grab in this location just because the bulb is super slippery and it's small. So you wrap some tape around it and then you pull. Super easy, I learned that. When I was installing lights on my Lexus, I did the exact same thing. So that should help you guys out if you guys do plan on doing this at all. All right, just put the LED in and then we do a test, make sure it works. Now for this oddly satisfying clip. Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> and then we got this trunk light right here. Honestly, this is just a lame excuse for a light. This is not bright at all. It doesn't even light up your trunk like it's supposed to. But hey, this will be a little bit better. This one was a little bit more difficult to do compared to the other ones. Still pretty easy because you had to open this up and then you had to take out the bulb. But yeah, let me put this back on and I'll show you what the final product looks like. Just clipped it back on and look at that. That's a whole flashlight. Look at this, this is gonna be oddly satisfying, ready? Oof. And it works. Cool. All right, so the next thing that we have to install is this grill badge. This grill badge is gonna go like right around here. This is the tri-color Toyota badge. This is like the old school. I got this on Amazon for I think like $15, but I know they sell them for like 10, 15, 20 around that price range everywhere. I'll have a link in the description down below if you guys are interested. Pretty much, we are gonna screw both of these in here, one for each side, one for each side, and it's gonna go right on here. So yeah, pretty quick, easy install. Cool. Alrighty you guys, so I came to a semi somewhat dark parking lot to show you guys what the lights will look like on at night. I didn't want to go to a full pitch black one because it's scary. I just saw stranger things and I ain't trying to have Vecna run up on me like that. So obviously it's really dark in here. Okay, I'm gonna open the door. Nah, you know what? We're not gonna open the door. I'm gonna show one light. Oh my goodness. That's just, whoa, hold on. 
Whoa, let's lower the exposure, bruv. Yo, okay. That is just one light. Whoa. Thumbnail. <gasps> Whoa. Now let's get the whole car. The door is open. And that is bright. Holy moly. Look at that. And it just looks so much cleaner and white. Like it's just... Come on, David, I'm at the door. What are you doing? So much more natural and white. Yep. Alright, let's see the trunk. Remember this lame excuse for a light? Ready? Oh, yeah. <gasps> and is that a Tesla Cybertruck? I'll show you guys this later. But, okay. That's, that's a lot brighter. Cool. One other mod that I want to do later on is that... Where is it? Oh, so this panel... And this panel gets removed and replaced for some LEDs. I'll throw a picture up on the screen. So this is what it looks like. Like imagine in a dark parking lot, there's not that much light other than this one right here that I replaced earlier. But there's some bright LEDs, as you can see in the picture, that light up this whole thing. So I think I want to do that eventually. But like I said, I have no idea how to do any of that mechanical, technical, work so i might have to hire someone else for that but yeah you guys already seen that the lights are a lot brighter i will leave the link in the description down below but yeah i mean i don't i don't know what else to tell you this is a great car if you guys aren't sold on it yet toyota is not paying me to say this <laughs> but yeah there is um a bunch of little things that i want to do before i start adding wheels and some exterior stuff like eventually i want to do wheels bigger tires i want to do a roof rack the back ladder and some other little things here and there but that's those are like the three biggest things i think wheels is going to be the biggest thing and the most expensive thing like i'd rather just have the wheels first and then i'll add the other stuff later on thank you for following me in my journey i mean this is it we're living life we're fixing up cars we're running businesses if you guys haven't already liked this video, do me a favor, like this video. If we can get to 10 likes, I would be very happy. Okay. I'm just gonna like this video. So yeah, this is the final look. Here is the plate. Here is the little grill badge. Not bad. We're getting there though. That's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are interested in picking up any of the lights, any of the grill, badges or the, even the license plate frame i will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can do the exact same thing and even if you don't have a rav4 the lights still work on any other model car and it's still technically the same thing go to amazon look up your model make of your car and it should pop up but yeah i hope this helped you out in any way if not i hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys later for the next video peace